The new AMD FX line of processors is based on a completely new architecture from AMD known as Bulldozer. These processors are all unlocked and highly overclockable, and with as many as eight cores in them, they are designed for highly threaded applications. For our testing, we took an AMD FX 8150 CPU and decided to see how far we could push it. For our benchmarking and overclocking tests, we used an ASUS Crosshair 5 Formula motherboard updated with the latest BIOS for AMD FX processor support. And we also used a Corsair H100 self-contained water cooling unit in order to make sure we had the best cooling possible for our overclocking. So once we get into Windows, we'll start up AMD Overdrive. This is their kind of overclocking and monitoring utility here. It actually turns out to be quite a good quite a good tool for AMD processors and graphics cards. There's a lot of information here. You can get a lot of uh, specs and uh, settings that you can tweak in here. Uh, a whole lot of different stuff. You can see it's got the new AMD FX branding there. Uh, they do have some cool features like a little diagram of your system, what is connected, uh, your memory slots, PCI Express slots. You can look at all your memory timings, adjust those if you want. You can look at your clocks and voltages. You can enable, disable turbo core on a per core basis. Lots of cool things there. Uh, if you have an AMD Radeon GPU, you could monitor the clock speeds and temperatures and stuff there. And then of course in the CPU area, you could monitor all eight cores of the new AMD FX processor. You can see you can monitor temperatures, the voltages, the individual clock speeds of each core. You really do have a lot of information here in this tool. Here we are inside the ASUS Crosshair 5 Formula motherboard BIOS. You can see there's lots of tabs and in, in information here. We're gonna focus on just the ones we changed to get our overclocking settings. First thing we do is go into CPU configuration, disable the APM settings here. That will kind of let us push the power of the CPU a little bit more than uh, normal. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the AI overclock here to manual. First thing we'll do is adjust the CPU ratio up to the amount. We've already pre-tested here. We know we can hit 4.6 gigahertz on this CPU without an issue. We are going to disable AMD Turbo Core technology. It allows you to have a more stable overclock. It means all the CPU frequencies will run at a static speed. If we go into the uh, ASUS VRM settings, we'll go ahead and set everything here to its highest setting or disabled setting. This again, lets the CPU uh, kind of work its magic, run as hot and as uh, high temperatures as it can go without uh, frying it, of course. And then we'll set the CPU voltage here. And again, anything between 1.4 and 1.5 is pretty safe. We just choose 1.45 because we, again, know that this is stable and this is what works for our particular motherboard and processor. So here you can see our target CPU speed of 4.6 gigahertz and we're ready to go. So here we are back in Windows after overclocking our system. And if we go to our CPU status, you will see all of our CPU cores are running at just over 4.6 gigahertz. And uh, you can see we're monitoring the, the temperatures and that kind of stuff as well. Frequencies are all static again because we disabled turbo core, but we are ready to put this overclock to the test. Our Pavre rendering results see a jump from 1204 to 1519 pixels per second. That's an increase of 26%. Cinebench 11.5 is also a very highly threaded application. We see a boost from 5.92 to 7.27 on the benchmark score. That's a boost of 23%. And finally, in our 3 d Mark 11 physics test, the part that is more CPU limited, we see an increase from about 6,177 points to 6,977 points, a boost of 13%. All right, so now we wanna to try to configure this system to get the most frequency as possible. Uh, this time we're gonna use one module, actually two cores. So the first thing we have to do is go to our CPU core activation menu here in the advanced, set it to manual. And here you can actually disable or enable each individual module, which is in effect two cores. So we will go ahead and set all of these two disabled so that we're running off one module, two cores. Then we go back into our tweaker settings here and uh, we know for a fact we've tested this beforehand we can get five gigahertz out of this processor but it does require a little voltage bump to 1.51 volts and we're ready to go so here we are back in windows after setting up our two core overclock opened up overdrive and you can see it's reporting two cores one module operating you can see the the disabled core on the other side it is running at five gigahertz and you can see our temperatures are all within pretty good range there. So this was the top speed we were able to hit with this AMD FX processor. 
The enthusiast community has always been a fan of fully unlocked processors that allow them to tinker to their heart's content, and the AMD FX series of processors gives them exactly that. And based on our early results, it looks like this line of CPUs could be great for the overclocker and you.